Hi, beauties and curls. This is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Yes, I'm kind of bare faced, but not really. I do have on my brows um, a little bit of tinted moisturizer. Um, bronzer which I actually have on my lid I'm coming with both of my pan that palettes today and I'm also coming with one month with one palette so I uh, this was my palette of the month this was the Tamana palette I used this in the month of October pretty much and I am getting around to November I used it some I feel like I got some use out of it but I definitely want to dig more into this I really like Venin's Venenzia bangle is what I use a lot blush and I use a lot of gilded gilded oh my goodness gilded so I really like this palette it's something that I am going to keep in my collection and one month mo one month one palette just means that I am alternating my palettes just to see what I want to love what I want to move out of my collection and so um I'll talk about the palettes in just a second but let's go ahead and pick our next palette for the month of November and I think I, I want to use these two which are my ColourPop. This is the Amanda Steel ColourPop. I used this last year and I really like the color so it really screams fall and it's not in my Lorac Pro palette and I also want to use this one. This one was customized from Gen Beauty last year. They let us pick four shades. Now I, I actually took this out which is what I probably will do out of this one but this one allows you to get more you can get 10 shades rather than four and this is the ipsy uh, color pop collab so i wanted to use some shades that i don't have in my collection and i'll be using the my little pony i'm coming with a review on those so um these are like not really a palette so i feel like i can kind of like work these in conjunction and i want to use the my little pony palette a little bit more i did do full swatches and kind of like a sneak peek of all of those i will link that over here so you guys can check out the collection because i am coming with a review on that but today we are going to use our Lorac pro now let me show you last month's progress i'll go ahead and show you that and then this is this month's progress um since september um i feel like i have some dents but i have not hit pan on any of the, these yet and remember i have until next year so i've given myself 18 months which um next september i am planning on having this all hitting pan now i'm not saying i'm finishing it my goal is to hit pan pan and every single palette every single shade yes but the biggest dent that I see is in gold and I actually have like a deep dent in sable I hope you can see that but I am going to go ahead and use this today I tend to use taupe or mauve as my transition shades and then I usually go in with sable in my corner that's why it's deeper and I'm seeing that the shades here the metals are a lot softer so i feel like i'm gonna hit pan in the softer ones and then some of these some of these are like really packly densely packed i'm saying but Lorac shadows are very soft so usually what i do because i'm wearing pink <laughs> today i'm going to go in with this mauve i've already have some of my bronzer as a transition shade as well from my NYX and I've been using this as a bronzer I have these two on the ones on the each end as a highlight and then I use these under my eyes so I'm getting some use on the bottom and then on the top uh, basically what I've been using as my bronzer are these two so I've been dipping back and forth I can actually see some of the pan in the beige shade right here and I can also see it here you might not be able to see it, but that is a progress that I have. I'm feeling you got really are not gonna see progress until maybe the end of the year after using this, maybe about three months straight. So um, I wanted to use this on camera to just kind of show you what I kind of do in order to like use up my shadows. So really my goal is to use as much as I can 
but correlate the colors. So use all of the cool tone shades in here and see if I can get some use. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But um, that's kind of like what I'm going to do today. And as you can tell, that mauve like really made it more cool. So now I'm going to take, I'm actually gonna take pewter and I'm gonna put this on my lid. I notice when I dip into the pan, when you use a denser brush, I feel like um, it picks up more product rather than when I use a fluffier brush. So that's the reason why I feel like the, the ones that are more uh, softer, the golds, uh, the metals are going to go hit pan. This is just my prediction. Y'all tell me if you've ever, um, if you've ever panned a Lorac Pro palette, let me know uh, some tips. And then I'm gonna go back with this brush with nothing on it and just smooth out the edges. Now I'm going to flip over the brush and I'm going to use champagne and I'm gonna put that in my inner, like the inner part of my lid. And that's it. I do have a finish nine by New Year's and I'm going to incorporate those into this. So I didn't pick any palettes or any bronzers or anything like that in that um, in that project. I would love to know any of you guys that are panning right now, but this is what I am panning and I'm gonna finish off my makeup. But I just wanted to show you how I use these every day. Yeah. This is the final look. I'll definitely put down everything in the description box that I use, but uh, yeah, this is me using my products on a daily basis and kind of like my everyday routine. I just wanted to show you guys how I incorporate my project pans. And this is again, my one month one palette and also my pan that palettes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you are panning and I will see you in the next video. Bye, ladies. Thank you.